Hi, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have configured Kafka Consumer in a Stock Service project. All right. So now in this lecture, we will create a Kafka Consumer in a Stock Service project so that Stock Service can able to consume or read the message from the Kafka topic. All right. Let's head over to the IntelliJ IDEA and let's go to Stock Service project and go to main package over here and let's create a new package and let's call it as Kafka. And within this Kafka package, let's create a class and let's give class name as order consumer. All right. And let's go ahead and let's annotate this class with at service annotation to make this class as a spring bean. Next, let's go ahead and let's create a logger instance. Let's say private static final and then logger logger from self 4j and then this should be a logger factory and then call get logger api and then just pass the class name that is order consumer dot class now we have created a logger instance okay so basically we are going to log the event that we consume from the kafka topic that's why we have created a logger instance next let's go and let's create a method let's say public and the method return type is wide and let's give method name as consume okay and then let's you know give a method parameter as order event well if you can notice here the order event class is not present in a stock service project okay so the detail classes we have basically created in a base hyphen domains project right so in order to get these detail classes in a stock service we have to add base domains as a dependency to stock service project well let's go to pom.xml file of stock service project and go to dependency section over here within dependency section let's go ahead and let's add base domains project as a dependency so let me create a dependency here and let's give group id as net.java guides and IntelliJ idea will automatically you know give the artifact id and version okay now we have added base domains project as a dependency to stock service project all right so go ahead and click on this icon to load the maven changes now if you if you can go back to order consumer the order event will be available here okay just import order event and let's call it it as a event all right and let's annotate this method with add kafka listener annotation add kafka listener annotation and make sure that you choose Kafka listener annotation from org.springframework.kafka.annotation package and this listener has attribute called topic so just call topics attribute over here topics attribute and then we need to provide a topic name here so here's the syntax dollar curly braces and just go to application.properties file so let me go to application.properties file over here and just grab this key and go back to order consumer and paste it over here okay so this is the syntax basically to retrieve a value of this key okay we are basically retrieving the kafka topic from the application dot properties file all right great next we need to also give a group id for that here is a group id attribute and then similarly the syntax is same dollar within a curly basis and just go to application dot properties file and here is a group id key so let me copy this key and go back to order consumer and paste it over here well this is how we can fetch the topic name and group id from the application dot properties file using this syntax okay let me format this code properly all right well this consume method will basically use kafka listener annotation to listen or subscribe to this particular topic okay and this order consumer is a consumer it basically belongs to this consumer group all right if you can go to application dot properties file you can see order underscore topics is the topic name okay the order consumer will basically subscribe to this topic and here is the group id stock is a group id basically and the order consumer is a consumer it belongs to this stock consumer group all right next within this consumer method we are going to log the event so let me just write the log statement logger dot info and string dot format and let's give some string here let's say 
order event received something like that event received in stock service followed by percentage yes and just you know pass the event dynamically event dot to string perfect now we have logged the event in a stock service so here is a typo so let me correct it perfect so once the order consumer will get the event next what you can do is you can save the event data order event data into the database well i'm not going to cover how to save a data order data into a database you can go ahead and configure any database in this project and you can simply save this order data into the database all right so it's pretty simple let's say if you are using mysql database then you can simply you know uh, configure mysql in application.properties file and simply you know write a uh, entity and spring data jp repository and then you can simply save the order data into a database it's pretty simple you can go ahead and you know uh, take this as an exercise and you can go ahead and you know write this functionality all right so i'm not going to cover you know how to save a data into a database so the objective of this project is to how to use you know kafka broker for asynchronous communication between multiple micro services all right so now we have written order, order consumer it will consume the event or message from this kafka topic okay now let's go ahead and let's run the spring boot application just to verify that the order consumer will work as expected so let me stop all the instances and let me go to main entity point class of stock service project and from here i can run the spring boot project well if you can see in the console there are no errors or exceptions it means that the order consumer that we have written is working as expected and there are a lot of very important information in a log let me show you that so you can see here string deserializer class is a class we have configured for message key and just scroll down and here you can see json deserializer class that we have configured to deserialize a message value and just scroll down and you can see here this kafka consumer that we have just written is subscribed to this particular topic the topic name is order underscore topics all right and just scroll down and you can able to see here the kafka consumer that we have just written is you know received a event okay the event is the order order name is laptop order so this is the basically message or event which is present in a kafka topic and the kafka consumer that we have just written is received or consumed this you know event or a message from the kafka topic all right perfect well one more important point here is you can see the partition all right so kafka will automatically create a partition in a topic by by using this naming convention over here so order underscore topics is the topic name followed by hyphen zero okay so basically kafka will use this naming convention to create a partition in a kafka topic by default kafka will create this partition and it will store the message or event in this partition okay and the kafka consumer will basically consume that message or event from this particular you know partition all right great now let's go ahead and let's call the rest api and let's send a event or message to the kafka topic and then we will see how the kafka producer and consumer works so let's go to a postman rest client and here i'm going to send one more request so let's configure the order detail something like this let's say mobile order this is the order name and let's say quantity for you and the price is one lakh and just go ahead and hit the send button and there we go well if you can see the response here the order service project is not you know deployed in a tomcat server so let me start the order service project so go to main entity point class all right and let me run the order service application so now you can able to see order service application and stock service application both applications are up and running now let's go to postman client and let's send the request so let me hit the send button and there we go we got the response with status code 200 now let's head over to the intellij idea and let's verify the result so let me go to intellij idea over here 
and let's first verify order service application logs so just scroll up and you can able to see here order event so this is the log statement right we have we have written in a order producer class and let me verify the order name order name is mobile order perfect it means that the order producer class that we have written to send event or message to the Kafka topic is working as expected okay now let's similarly let's verify the stock service application whether the stock service is able to consume the message or not so just scroll down and here you can able to see the stock service is you know able to receive or consume the message or event from the Kafka topic and the order name you can see mobile order it means that the Kafka producer and consumer is working as expected okay and if you can go to our you know event driven microservice architecture the order service is able to send a event or message to the Kafka topic and the stock service can able to consume or read the event from the Kafka topic so this flow we have completed next what we need to do is we need to configure Kafka consumer in an email service so that email service can able to consume the message or event from the Kafka topic all right great in next lecture we'll see how to configure and how to write a Kafka consumer in an email service so that email service can able to consume the message from the Kafka topic all right great I will see you in the next lecture